What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have the third Masters 1000 event, the Madrid Open. And we've got some big names playing, as we would expect. But some big names have pulled out. Let's go to the list of withdrawals. So some big names have pulled out of this one. We have Marin Cilic. He's out. Chorich. Novak Djokovic, the defending champion. He's out. Federer. Goffin. Monfils. Raonic. Sonigo. And Vavrinka is still recovering from surgery that he had a couple of months ago. All right, let's start at the top of the draw. There are 16 seeds in this one. And the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Rafa Nadal, he's the number one seed. After Djokovic pulled out, gets a bye in the first round. He's going to play the winner of Manorino or the wild card Alcarez in the second round. So straight away, you can see that we might get a battle of the generations between Nadal and baby Nadal. Then we have a qualifier versus Struff. Winner of that's going to play either Pella or the number 14 seed Sinner. Then we have the number 12 seed Hercatch taking on Milman. Winner of that's going to take on the winner of Shardy versus Evans. Then we have Hashinov versus Nishikori. A big first round. Circle that one as one to watch. Winner of that takes on number five seed, Alexander Zverev. So straight away, you can see there are some tough names for Rafa to get through in this one. Of course, you got to watch out for Rafa this week. And Zverev didn't do great last week in Munich. Keep an eye on Sinner as well. And also Alcaraz. Let's see how he does playing in front of his home crowd. Second corner of the draw, we have number three seed, Dominic Team. He's back. He gets a buy in the first round. And no matter what happens, he's going to play a qualifier in the second round because there's a first round match between two qualifiers. So a good start for Team. Then we have Diminor versus Munir. Winner of that's going to take on either Harris or the number 13 seed Dimitrov in the second round. And we've got the number nine seed Batista Agu getting a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match will take on the winner of Isna versus Kecmenovic in the second round. Then we have the wild card Martinez versus Paul. Winner of that will take on number six seed Andre Rublev. So Dominic team, first time we've seen him for a couple of months and the first time on clay as well. So let's see how he's feeling. And he's got a good start as well. But also we're going to keep an eye out on Rublev after making the Monte Carlo final a couple of weeks ago. Let's see how he does in Madrid. And I'm also interested to see how Diminor does because he did grow up playing on the clay when he moved over to Spain. So I'll be interested to see how he does this week as well and a pretty good draw. Going to the third quarter now, the bottom half of the draw. We've got the number seven seed, Schwartzman. He gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Umber versus Karatsev in the second round. Then we got Fucevic versus Bublek. Winner of that's going to take on the winner of Lajevic and the number 11 seed Shapovalov in the second round. Then we have the number 15 seed, Oje Aliasim versus Kasper Rudd. That's a great first round match. Circle that one as one to watch. Winner of that's going to take on either Nori or Krajanovic in the second round. Then we have Basilashvili versus Pear. Winner of that's going to take on number four seed Stefano Pass in the second round. So obviously we've got to keep an eye on Pass. He's been the best player of 2021 and definitely the best player on clay in 2021. Also Schwartzman, we know he's a good clay quarter as well. But keep an eye on Karatsev and also Rud as some of the unseated players who have proven they can do well on clay over the last couple of weeks. All right, bottom quarter of the draw now and we have the number eight seed Berrettini. He gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of a qualifier or Fabio Fanini in the second round. Then we have Fritz versus Ramos Fanoles. Winner of that's going to take on either a qualifier or the number 10 seed Bruno Busta. Then we have the number 16 seed Garen. He gets Vadasco in the first round. So that's a great first round match. Fernando Vadasco back. We haven't seen much of him lately. Winner of that match is going to take on either Kopfa or Opelka in the second round. Then we have a qualifier versus Vakina. Winner of that's going to take on number two seed Daniel Medvedev, who is back after testing positive for coronavirus. He's back in action and very interested to see how he does because we haven't seen him on clay in 2021. The players to watch out for, obviously Medvedev. We're going to keep an eye on him this week, see how well he can do. Berrettini coming off winning the Serbia Open last week. Got to keep an eye on him. He can play on clay, but also interested to see how Garen does. And Fabio Fanini being unseated, that might actually help him sneak through the draw with no expectation. So keep an eye on Fanini as well. So there it is, the draw for the Madrid Open. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one. We've got Medvedev. We've got Team. They're back in action. Rafa, the top seed. Obviously, we've got some big names that aren't playing, but it's going to be a really interesting tournament because Rafa's definitely going to be the favorite, but then who's going to be the next favorite? Because there's a couple of guys we haven't seen play that might be the favorites had we have seen them. Obviously, Sidzi Pass, he's in some great form too. Okay, so for the predictions, having a look at the draw now and the players that have played well over the last couple of weeks of the clay court season are definitely the standouts. Finding it hard not to pick Rafa Nadal. It's in front of his home crowd. It's in Madrid. He's got a pretty good draw as well with Sasha Zvera being the highest ranked opponent. And if he can get through Rublev potentially in the semi finals, I reckon he can win it all. And he's full of confidence after winning in Barcelona. So Rafa's my pick in this one. Let me know down in the comments below, who are you picking to win this event? So the Madrid Open, it's back in 2021, but we are missing some key names. 